Hey everyone, it's me, Andy, and today's video is basically going to be just a tutorial on the look I had on in my elf haul video because um, a lot of you requested to see a tutorial on it. Um, I wasn't going to do one at first because I just thought this look was pretty simple, but um, now when I look at it, it's, it is a really cool look. Um, somebody said they would, they could use it for like work and stuff and um, I could definitely see that because it's still um, even though you have your makeup on and your eyes done up it's still very work appropriate and classy so um, before I do that I just basically want to share with you um, in this video I focus on like the red lip because it's a very bold red lip but I just wanted to show you guys a duplicate for the color that I used because in the video I used um, Max Ruby Woo which is a really really pretty matte blue red color um, but if you are interested in a red such as this but you don't want to pay $15 which is how much Max cost um, there's this one from wet and wild it's called red velvet and it's 901 D and it's basically in the same exact color range as Ruby Woo you can look at that um, it's it doesn't have as much as a blue undertone but it still has a bluish undertone um, and it's not as matte um, Ruby Woo is really really matte red velvet has a little bit of a sheen to it but they are basically pretty much the same color um, I love wearing red velvet um, I have them swatched here so this is Ruby Woo here and that's red velvet next to it and you can see it just has a little bit more of a sheen to it but they look basically pretty much the same and that is three dollars or yeah three dollars compared to fifteen dollars so I just wanted to share that with you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and um, get into the tutorial and show you guys how I do this look and I hope you enjoy it and I'll see okay, you later so I've already applied a primer to my eye and I use the Victoria Secret eye primer for my eyes I'm going to start off with my 88 matte palette which is really a hot mess and it's broken and stuff but I'm gonna be using this light color I don't want to tilt it all the way because it's all broken but um it's basically the same color as my eye and I'm just going to apply this all over the eye up to the brow bone area next I'm going to be using the vanity palette from wet n wild and I'm using that really yellow gold color right there and just putting this right on the lid not using a whole bunch of it because I don't want it to be like extremely yellow gold looking right there so I'm not putting a whole bunch just a little bit now using a fluffy blending brush I'm going to take this dark brown color from the 88 matte palette and just swirl my brush in there and I'm going to apply this right above my crease um, if you have enough space to put it in your crease go ahead but just for me I've learned that my lid space is really little so a lot of times you just have to adjust things to like fit your eyes and for me I just realized that I prefer to put colors above my lid and not in my lid not my lid my crease I just think it looks better on me then use my Milani bronzer right at the top of this to help it basically then using this dark chocolate brown hip color from <laughs> color from this hip duo in brazen I'm using this one the chocolate brown 
on a pointy detail brush and take this right where that brown meets the gold and that's just going to add some depth and emphasis to that area but of course we are going to blend it out so it's not super harsh for my highlight I'm using the same big brush we started off with and I'm mixing these two colors from the vanity palette and just applying this right underneath my brow and blending it down into the browns that we have down below I'm going to take a little bit of that light shimmery gold color and just place it right over it. Now I'm going to take this brown color with a flat eyeshadow brush and place this right underneath my eye. Then with the same brush take these two. Actually these two what am I talking about? And these are going to be our inner corner highlight color all right and now I'm just going to apply wing liner um, if you if you need any help figuring out how to apply wing liner I have a video link down below on tips uh, to apply the perfect classic wing eyeliner then I'm just going to apply some mascara and um, to my top and bottom lashes and then I'm also going to apply these lashes from Ardell. They're pretty natural looking lashes. These are the 110s and um, so that's I'll be pretty back. much it for the eyes. Um, all I did was just add the lashes which are pretty natural looking um, just because I wanted to keep the look neutral and natural so um, now let's go on to the lips which is like the focus of this whole thing um, of course you want to make sure you um, have used a lip scrub or something of the sort just to get rid of any like dead or dry skin that may be on your lips because whenever you're using a really really matte color um, because for me I'm going to use a red that's a really really matte red and it's Ruby Woo from MAC so most of you probably already know that so um, so I have already applied a moisturizer to my lips to my EOS because you want to make sure your lips are really really nicely moisturized now I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer just to mute out the natural color of my lips and at first I'm going to start off by lining my lips. I'm going to use Plush Red from NYX. Which Plush Red is not a super red lip pencil, but this is the one that I prefer. If you want to use an actual red, red lip liner, you can go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to use Ruby Woo from MAC. This is a matte lip um, lipstick and um, it's a very very true cherry red lipstick. Um, I guess I'll talk to the camera. It's a very true true cherry red cherry lipstick. It has a blue undertone to it so it's a very true blue red color so you will see that once I put it on. Alright, and any places that you feel like you kind of messed up, just take a concealer brush and just go right over it. And you can see what I mean by saying that this is like a really true blue red. It's very, very red and has like a reflection of a blue undertone with it. So that's why it comes off this way. Um, and it also makes your teeth look really, really white. Now, another thing that I like to do is take a little bit of a brown pencil. This is just brown from Jordana, and it's just a basic brown pencil. And I just like to line 
right on the outside. I personally think bold red lips like this look better if you just leave them matte. Um, I just feel like it's a little more, gives it a little bit more of that classic red feel. Um, if you want to add a little gloss, you can go right ahead, but like I said, I just prefer, I think it looks better matte. For my blush, I just went ahead and applied Fantastical Mauve, and that is from Milani. It's one of their big blushes, and I applied that like in the hollows of my cheekbones and kind of blended it upward. Sorry about my hair. I just have it up in a bun because it looks crazy today. But this is basically it. This is the look that was um, that I had on in that video. So I hope you guys liked it. I hope you found some cool tips for wearing really bold red lips. And you can do this almost with any bold matte color that you're interested in wearing. Or any bold color at all actually. So I um, hope you guys like this. And um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.